With the election less than a month away, a disabilities advocate says every Ontario political leader, except for Doug Ford, has made major election pledges to get rid of the accessibility barriers faced by more than 2.6 million Ontarians. He is calling on the Premier to step up and to not ignore this vulnerable population. Every voter either now has a disability or has someone near and dear to them who has a disability or will get a disability. They're bound to as they get older. So disability is a critical issue in this election. David Lepofsky is a lawyer and chair of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act Alliance, a major grassroots nonpartisan disabilities coalition. Under Ontario law, the provincial government is required to lead Ontario to become accessible to people with disabilities by 2025. We are not going to make that deadline because of failures of previous governments. Lepofsky says every party besides the Conservatives have presented detailed pledges to make Ontario accessible for people with disabilities. We want schools, colleges and universities to become accessible places for students with disabilities. We want uh, an effective um, ed employment accessibility standard to enable people with disabilities to get competitive employment. Uh, we would like to see uh, an assurance that government money will never be used again, as it has been in the past, to create new barriers that impede people with disabilities. NDP MPP and critic for accessibility and people with disabilities, Joel Hardin, says if his party is elected, their government would raise Ontario disability support payments, which haven't been adjusted for the rising cost of living in years. And the maximum benefit one can have on the Ontario Disability Support Program, that's 500,000 plus people in our province, is $1,129 a month with a $475 a month housing allowance. There is nowhere in this city uh, where I am in Ottawa or where your city, Maliga, in Toronto, uh, frankly, anywhere else where you can live with dignity on that. What we've pledged to do for both benefits, OW and ODSP, is immediately increase it by 20% and index it to inflation. In a statement, Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca tells City News that if elected, the government would hire 5,000 more special education workers and reduce wait times for school services for students with autism. Further adding, they would build at least 2,500 more supportive homes and increase funding support for them. They would also create new accessibility standards for education and health care and address accessibility barriers in the way we construct homes and buildings. We reached out to the Conservative government and a spokesperson for the Ministry for Seniors and Accessibility wrote in part, the government continues to make the province more accessible and inclusive through its investments and supports. Programs like the Rick Hansen Accessibility Certification for Public Buildings, Inclusive Community Grants, Main Street Revitalization, Enabling Change Grants and numerous employment and skills training supports demonstrate the unwavering commitment towards this goal. Lepofsky and the Disabilities Act Alliance says come this June election, it's important for people living with disabilities and their allies to vote for candidates who support their needs. For City News, I'm Maliha Sheikh.